<laughs> All right. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Arit here. Jewel asked me to step in for this week's Video Studio Wednesdays episode so I can show you how to use Camtasia Studio 8 with the PowerPoint add-in to create cool videos like the one that you see in front of you here. It's a little bit of a different flavor. It has a more professional feel to it. We use this format when we're creating our online courses or for just, you know, sometimes we use them for random YouTube videos too. So it depends what you're using it for, but if this is something that you would like to do, let me show you how to do this. So first thing we need to do is enable the Camtasia PowerPoint add-in so that the two softwares, Camtasia and PowerPoint, can talk to each other. So just keep in mind though, if you have PowerPoint 2010 or 2013, then the add-in will only work if you have Camtasia 8.1 or higher. If you have an older version of PowerPoint, like 2007 or earlier, then your add-in will only work with Camtasia 6. So just keep that in mind. So there's two ways to enable this add-in, and I'm gonna show you how to do both, just in case. So we can do it from Camtasia or PowerPoint. So let's go ahead to Camtasia, and I'll show you the first way of enabling this. So I have Camtasia opened here. Let's go to Tools and Options. And other, under the uh, Partners tab, there's a little checkbox here that says enable PowerPoint add-in. So you just need to click that, check the box, and then go ahead and click OK. So that's the first method. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and launch PowerPoint and you'll see that the add-in has been tagged on in there. The second way to do this is in PowerPoint. So let's go ahead and open up PowerPoint and under File and Options, a little box will pop up and you just need to find the add-ins section over here on the side. So click on add-ins and you'll see a list here. You see that I've enabled already the Camtasia add-in. So it's under active applications, but you won't see it there if you don't have it enabled. So it might be under disabled applications. So what you want to do is click on the little arrow here under this manage bar and you're gonna to go to disabled items. When you go to disabled items, you're gonna click on go, and you'll find under here, right now there's no disabled items, but under your box, it will say the Camtasia add-in. So you just need to click on that and then click on enable. So once you do that, it will uh, enable the Camtasia PowerPoint add-in and this will look something like this. So under the add-ins tab, once you've enabled it, you should see a little, little toolbar like this that has the record button, the microphone, the webcam, all of this kind of stuff. So before we go ahead and record our presentation, we need to make sure that our slides are ready so that when they're imported, when the slides are imported into Camtasia, we're able to embed the webcam footage, so the footage of me, into the box that we see here. So let me show you a little bit about what I mean. So I've created this template here from a previous slide from our Social Media Marketing Simplified course. So we have the heading up here, and I've put some points along the side here. And this box is a placeholder. So I've put a placeholder there just so that I know this is where my video is going to go when I edit it, the video in Camtasia. And the dimensions of this box are 2.69 inches by 3.58 inches. You know, you can make this placeholder bigger or smaller. Just uh, make sure that the ratio is the same because we want to make sure that we don't need to stretch our video when we're editing it. So we're not stretching our webcam video to fit it into that section. So you can do the exact same thing. You can copy this slide. I'll show you an example of another slide you might do. So I'm just going to duplicate this. And let's say I want to just have a slide here where it's kind of like a welcome slide. So the heading at the top will be welcome. And I just want a video of me embedded in this slide here. So I'm gonna 
make it bigger but still keeping the same ratios and center it or somewhat center it into the slide there. Okay, so we've completed designing our slides. Let's say we have a two slide presentation going on here. Our first slide is just gonna be a video of me embedded into the slide. It's a welcome slide. And the second one is going to be me talking about the points on the slide. So I'm gonna embed my video here and talk about these important points on the side over here. So the next thing would be to click on add-ins and then we can start recording this presentation. So before we do that, let's make sure we've enabled our microphone. So you just click on the microphone there and that means it'll record audio. And let's also enable the camera. So click on that and it will enable your camera. To make sure that it's taking the right, it's using the right sources for your camera and microphone, just click on this icon here to open up your options. And from here, you can select your audio source and you can also select your camera as well. And you can play around with these options too if you, if you know how to do that and make things the way that you want them to. So once I've done that, you can click on OK. And this icon here, I always like using this icon here to make sure everything looks good in the camera. It's a camera preview, so you can make sure everything looks good before you go ahead and record. So right now it's, it's not initializing the camera because I'm using it to talk to you right now. So I'm gonna close out of that. So once that's all good, you're gonna click on the record button here and it's gonna launch the presentation mode of your PowerPoint. So once you've done that, you're gonna click on click to begin recording. And so what it's gonna do is it's going to record your screen. So it's gonna record your presentation and it's gonna record the footage coming into your webcam. So you'll have these two pieces and then once you've completed recording, it's gonna launch the Camtasia Studio software so you can put these two pieces together. So I'm not able to click on click to begin recording right now because I'm recording right now through um, through the webcam, but I'm going to show you what it looks like when it gets to the part of saving your file. So you're gonna, when you click begin to record, you're gonna go through your presentation like this and you can click to go to the next slide and then you can talk about your points that you've included on the slide. And once you get to the end of your presentation, a little box is gonna come up and it's gonna ask you, do you wanna stop recording? So when you click on stop recording, it's gonna ask you to save that file. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, turn this camera off, and then turn it back on once that prompt comes up. Okay, so I just recorded a little demo presentation and I came to the end of the presentation and it asked me, do you wanna stop recording? I clicked on stop recording and this window that you see right now in front of you has popped up. So it's asking me where I wanna save my recording file. So I'm just gonna change the name here, just put example, and I will save it in the same place here. And um, looks like I already have one saved that in with that name. So I'm just gonna click on yes to overwrite that. And it's gonna launch the Camtasia software here with those recorded files. So I'm going to select my dimensions as 1280 by 720 and then click OK. So now you can see I have both pieces here. I have the presentation slide and I have the recording of me from the webcam here. So I'm just going to show you quickly how to edit this. So just move the cursor to the beginning here and I'm gonna select both pieces, chop that up and delete that. And I'm gonna select those, bring it up to the front. Okay, so now we just need to fit the pieces onto each other. So I'm gonna click on the recording from my webcam and I need to just make this a bit bigger. And this is where the placeholder comes in handy so I can make sure it fits right on top there. And let's play that. Hello and welcome to my fake PowerPoint presentation. 
<laughs> All right, so that's the first bit of the slide. And so I just need to see where it changes. So I'm gonna magnify this a little bit here and move the cursor until it changes over to the next slide. So I think we got it right there. And the reason why I wanna do that is because now I need to adjust my um, my video footage here to fit into this slide uh, in this box over here. So I'm gonna tap on that and then split it so that this stays the large size and now this will be smaller. So we're gonna make that smaller there. And again, placeholder is handy for this. It fits right on top. And let's go ahead and play that. Video we're gonna talk about. There you go. So you see how it nicely transitions. So we got it going from the first slide to the second In this slide. Video we're gonna talk about important point number one and important point number two. There we go. So we got that going. So once you have all done that for all of your slides, I just created the two slides here. So you can go ahead and modify it. Um, make sure that you're putting your video footage on top of your placeholders nicely and make sure the transitions are good between the slides. Once that's all done, then you can go ahead and produce your video. So you're gonna click on produce and then you're gonna come here and I like to, um, I like to use the MP4 up to 720 settings. So I'm going to click on that and then we're gonna finish the production and you're gonna see the end product. So there you go guys, that's how you produce a Camtasia PowerPoint presentation video all together just that way as I've showed you. Let me know if you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. And if this video has been helpful for you, please give us a like and a subscribe. All of that would be very much appreciated. All right guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great week, bye. Back from the dead.